this is the classroom that I was hoping to get for the g This is Lima Joyner. I used to admire the better because the more primitive, the more resourceful and inventive, the more care and passion went into the wood, everything about it because it's so hard to get. But look at this shot. Look at this shot. This is old pallets that have been knocked apart. Rust storm wood, look. Screws. Whoops. This is the school classroom, the outdoor classroom I wanted to build for the Duke and Oxford shed. And to be honest, I'm enjoying it. And I think I could do a better job of building a shed, but I couldn't make one as perfect as that. Just admire your perfect shed. I really do think. Now I'm making a video. Yeah. Would you mind if I put your shed on the video? As well? Would you mind if you on the video? As well? Uh, this is it's Jeff, isn't it? Yeah, it's Jeff. And the dog is called? Eddie. I'm just saying, I'm making a video because, as you might have heard, I've got in some trouble. And I really need people, because my passion is these allotments, and I want you to put a shed like this on the school allotments, being an outdoor classroom, because they're talking about building an eco school. Right. And I think this is a better avenue of going down. Oh, yeah. It's all made from pallets. So how much did it cost to make this chair? Just hard work and a few screws. So it didn't cost you any money at all? No. Wow, that's amazing. And how how, how that cost money for the roof itself. How long did 23 it take? Twenty three pounds. How long did it take? About eight weeks. Eight weeks. That's amazing. So now well. I've got some roofing chips I found in the skip. Yeah. If you ever need them, yeah. I can then make it so it'll be really free. Well that is uh that is tied down that roof and it's a good job, it's a smashing job. Could we look inside? Wow, sound system. I like that. <laughs> you need some music. Step ladders. Don't come and steal anything from me. <laughs> Perfect. Pot and shed. And, you know, cooker. Cooker. Now, if we made this shed a little bit bigger, uh, we could have a small space where more people can sit, and you can have several point sheds. So you can have maybe eight children right. on each side, and in the middle, you could have it. We could have a, a, a potting shed. And that is what I was trying to achieve when I got myself arrested yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I'm apologising, and I'm trying to meet the people who've inspired me to act in the way I did, and why I'm so passionate that sometimes it comes across bit animated for you at your nice, calm school fair where you don't know fuss. And I'm sorry if I was the grit, but I hope I'm the grit in the oyster who gets the pearl. And this would be a pearl. We can get a potting shed like this. But we can do it better than this. I'm not knocking no. at all the joinery skills. This was done with nothing. But look, these old pallets, these crates come from China and India with all that stuff. We buy all that slate. We can't afford to buy our own stuff. There's some five-year-old in China doing the job. But this is hardwood, it's very good. It's probably from a rainforest. That is going to last. And look, it's already made for you. So, that is the standard of joining the far exceeds anything I've done before because it's cheap, it's quick, and it's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Why we need a lot Yeah, we need a lot of because they're uh, more sustainable, um, they're pest free keep people fit and healthy and you give you something to do when you get old. Yeah. <laughs> and somewhere to go when the wife's giving you hard time. Yeah. That's what I'm finding. That's true. Yeah. And it ain't even my allotment, it's her allotment. But, yeah. you know. Yeah, no. But I think the price of food, I think the, the allotments died off because food got cheap, didn't it? That's right, because we're importing most of what we eat. And, and a we few years ago, to. this allotment site was almost on its ass. Terrible. And look how it's making a comeback. Right. But the food prices are actually going up now, right. but it's actually going to be a lot cheaper to grow your own food. And the way the economic ground is, I'm worried that our country is going to be on terminal decline. It's true. We've got two rows of spuds, six months of supply. That's six months of supply.
Ah, it's good. Good one, bro. Wow. One man, six months potatoes in an area of space this big.